Cancer drugs are notoriously expensive, but they've been pretty much immune to price pressure, even as the cost of other prescription drugs has become a hot button issue in American politics. Thousands of dollars for a single pill. But that can't last. New cancer medicines that harness the immune system can make diseases that were once death sentences potentially survivable. But just one of these so-called immune oncology drugs cost $150,000 per patient per year in the US. These drugs can be even more effective when you use two at once, but the first approved pair from Bristol-Myers Squibb cost a whopping $256,000 a year. Many more such drug combinations are coming and we have no idea what they're gonna cost. Five leading companies are testing their immune boosting drugs in more than 68,000 patients. These expensive clinical trials are gonna help balloon the cost of future cancer drugs, particularly in the US. In fact, one estimate predicts worldwide cancer drug spending could go as high as 178 billion by 2020, up from about 107 billion last year. And the US spends more than any other country due to a lack of pricing regulation. The price of branded cancer medicines in the US is about $8,600 a month. In the UK, it's only about $2,500. Sooner or later, that growing price gap is gonna prompt scrutiny from the government and from the private sector. One piece of good news, there are already three immune oncology medicines on the market that could be the backbone of new drug combinations, and soon there may be five. Old-fashioned competition and pressure from insurers should help bring prices down. Any drug company expecting the pricing status quo to last forever is in for a nasty surprise. <laughs>